Hey guys, so I have a bit of a preamble here before I get to the ramble, which will mostly be entirely about school. And so I apologize if that's not entirely interesting to you, but I will try and keep it as interesting as possible. And here I go with the preamble. So yesterday I was really, really confused when I was watching Spencer's video, and on Monday I was a little bit confused when I was watching James's video, because though I've heard the terms AP and IB and honors thrown around before, I've never really gotten to figure out what they actually meant. I really had to have them explained to me in order to understand how different my system was here in southern Ontario. So I'm just going to really quickly explain my system of schooling so you can understand why I was so confused, and that will end my preamble. At my high school, most classes um, though with some exceptions, most, cl most classes were divided into three divisions, if you will. The upper division was for people that did very well on that subject, the middle one was for people who did okay, and then the lower one I think was reserved for people who had learning disabilities, and so there weren't many people in those classes. So I was in the upper division in grades 9 and 10. The top one was called academic, the middle was called applied, and the bottom one was called something that I honestly can't remember. In grades 11 and 12, they switched it up to get you used to the university college division. That happens here in Canada. There's actually a difference between university and college here. I won't get into that though. So the highest tier was called the university level classes. The middle tier was called college level classes, the lower tier was called uh, everyday learning or something like that, and then there was a fourth tier added between college and university which, which was called college university mix, um, and so basically if you wanted to go to university you had to take either mix classes or university classes, and if you wanted to go to college you were recommended to take college classes or mix classes, although university classes would have worked, so because I am going to university in grades 11 and 12 I had to take university level courses, and as a prerequisite to those university level courses, you basically almost always had to take academic courses in grade 9 and 10. So basically, you had to know if you were going to university or college in grade 9, which is ridiculous and stupid. But that is my simplistic version of the system of schooling that I went to. Yeah. So you can see how very different that is from other school systems, which is crazy. So that's why I was so confused yesterday. So thank you guys for explaining to me these uh, different systems, although I only mostly understand them. Ugh. That was a long preamble. I have issues with schooling systems basically everywhere. Um, I'm not sure if all school systems apply to this, but basically I hate the school system a lot of the time. Not all the time, but a lot of the time, because when I was watching James and Spencer's videos, there was one image that popped in my mind immediately, and it was this picture that I see on the internet all the time of a triangle, in the center it says pick two, and you're allowed to pick two of the sizes, or two of the corners of the triangle. One of them is enough sleep, one of them is good grades, and the other one is social life. And that is so true that you're only allowed to choose two of those, and it's very rare that you're allowed to have all three. Um, I did not. I sacrificed my social life so much in high school, it's ridiculous. Um, so basically, I really don't like that. That is so silly. I think that as teenagers who are in high school, and as young adults who are in university or college, and as even um, pre-teens that are in grade school or middle school, depending on where you are, part of our life is supposed to be experiencing the world, having a social life, getting friends, and accumulating things like that, and worldly experiences once you get a little bit older, but we're forced to be in school. And you have to have enough sleep in order to do well in school, and you have to have good grades in order to get to get a degree and have a good job, which is ridiculous. Our school system focuses our lives on it, and there's no room for anything else, which is ridiculous in and of itself. And then what Spencer mentioned, where we're often tested on our test-taking ability, is so, so true, even in smaller ways. In grades 11 and 12, I took biology with the same teacher both years, and at the very beginning of both years, he explained to people in the class that his tests were difficult. But he made a stipulation. Only one half of his tests were actually difficult, and that was the multiple choice section. The rest of it was pretty easy. Most people shrugged off that advice to actually study intently for multiple choice type questions, and when they got their marks back the first time on both years, um, they were completely surprised when they failed the first part of the test but did perfectly well on the second part. And he explained to us that in university and college you're going to have multiple choice exams and you need to get used to the very difficult kinds of questions, but it occurred to me that you're only going to use multiple choice questions in school. Once you leave school, that's completely useless. So I'm learning something that's absolutely useless to me in a few years' time. It's so stupid that we're learning to learn in a school setting as opposed to learning to learn in an everyday setting. And we're learning to learn things that are useless to us as opposed to learning things that we can apply to the world around us, to our lives and to our future jobs. And it's just very aggravating that the school system isn't as good as it could be. But I can't do a thing to change it. Ah, oh, it hurts my lungs to talk that fast. Anyway, two 
last comments. Um, first of all, no, we don't like ourselves too much. Are you kidding me? We can't like ourselves too much. I love us. And, uh, people, please leave challenge suggestions down below for Katie. She's doing our challenge on Friday, and one day's notice of what her challenge is is kind of ridiculous. So please leave challenge suggestions down below for her. And, Katie, I will see you tomorrow and Friday and possibly Monday from the sound of things. We might have a schedule switch up next week. Bye, guys.